We need money for climate action. Lots of it. Developing countries alone will need $6 trillion by 2030 to implement their climate action plans. They will also need billions to address the growing impacts of the climate crisis, to which they have contributed the least in causing. So who should pay for this? The richest countries have cumulatively polluted the most and owe the Global South a climate debt. They should pay the cost for the damage done over centuries of polluting. These countries have signed up to take responsibility for historical emissions and promised $100 billion a year in climate finance. This is a fraction of what's needed, but they still haven't delivered, and much of this is provided as loans. They easily find trillions of dollars for fossil fuel subsidies or military spending, but refuse to provide new climate financing. They instead repackage existing aid budgets and other commitments and push for increased lending from international financial institutions and the private sector. The coronavirus pandemic made a challenging debt situation worse for developing countries. International financial institutions have forced these countries to cut public expenditure to repay debt to northern investors. These austerity cuts weaken vital public services and reduce money available for climate action. Even after applying damaging austerity measures, many countries still don't have enough and are forced to keep extracting fossil fuels to pay off their debts. But debt is not the only problem. Developing countries also lose billions of dollars every year in illicit financial flows. Multinational corporations based in the global north use loopholes and illegal methods to dodge taxes while transferring money and assets across borders. So what needs to happen? Global North countries, particularly the wealthiest people and big polluting corporations, have disproportionately caused the climate crisis. We need to hand them the bill. We have the tools to collect this money. We must end fossil fuel subsidies and make polluters pay through taxes on fossil fuel companies, polluting industries, and petrostates. We can raise climate funds through progressive taxes on income, wealth, and polluting lifestyle choices of the rich. We must reduce tax burdens on the poor who suffer the most from the climate crisis. We need greater global financial transparency and taxation with a strong tax body under the United Nations to stop corporate tax abuse and shut down tax havens. We must cancel Global South debt and transform the international financial architecture so countries are never forced into debt, supported by a debt workout mechanism under the United Nations. We have the tools to free up trillions of dollars that are currently being lost, stolen, or extorted from developing countries and poor communities everywhere. We must demand a real transformation of the unjust financial system to take on the climate crisis.